so the sun is there, but we need more light. Where does the light come from? Any suggestions? Huh? Speak up. Bounce. Always easy. It's the last one. Yes. Anything else? Sky. Sky. There's a whole sky out there in the whole world. And that lights into the room as well. And that we haven't seen yet. So we have to create that. So what's the nature of that light? It's bluer. And harder, softer? Softer. Softer. Good. So let's, for that we have now, there's different ways to do that. Some people bounce a lot of light into big rags. If you want to get a 4 where she is, at 800 it's actually not so difficult. It used to be more difficult to do that indirect. Um, there is a way to do something soft and directional. In this case we have a, another 10K that doesn't have... Let's take the diffusion off that for a moment and make it hard. And where do I want to put it? I put it right where Hannah is sitting, right? Yeah. Hannah. Yes? Yes. Yes. And that's here. It shouldn't interfere with that as much. Uh, and, and it should sort of add more skylight, ambient light, we call that, to the room. This could be one big source or it could be a second one here. If we had action that happens here as well, I'd put at least two out there and make them really soft and put them on a four. So let's turn that 10K on. Okay, now we have two suns, one is blue and one is yellow. Pretty ugly. So what we do is we put one level of diffusion on it. In this case I said light grid, I think. There's something like light grid and quarter grid we have out there. It doesn't really matter what you call it, but there's 129, there's full grid, there's light grid, there's 216, there's a whole world out there of stuff. At the end you just try and create something that feels more like a bounce than like a direct light. So that's one layer of diffusion. And it's really not soft enough and it's still too bright, right? So we add a second layer of diffusion by taking another 4x4 four four frame and put a little space between the two frames. That's a very easy way to get the softer light. And then Gabriel showed this from Ossie Morris. I, Gabriel and I went to the same school at least for a year. I met Ossie Morris too. You do this and then you can see how hard the shadow is. Or I can do this on her and see it here. This is definitely softer light than this here, right? Everybody see that? So we are really closer to our, our goal. The light is cooler than the sun. That's obvious. In this case, I could have had the main light be 3200 and put more color on it and then blew up every other light. But we didn't have enough blue geoforms yesterday. And I thought I can do it the, the other way around. Because the intention is that the ambient light is bluer, the shadows are bluer than the sun. So in this case, I just made the sun a little warmer and leave the, the ambient light neutral. Now I use my meter, and it's a bit bright. Glasses again. Um, I get here like a quarter of around five, six. Now you could say it's a half light, it should be a little brighter, or you put it right where your stop is. It's really up to you. I'd say let's put a another single in at least. Now I can have a look at the nice one here. Is the single in? Okay, so let's just say I like the way she looks there. You could say this is still a little bright. For sh uh, uh, it's a more dramatic movie. I want the key side to be even darker, but for the purposes of this, let's just leave it there for a moment. Um, then we're still missing light in the shadow here. I mean, at least I think we do. So how do I do that? I, I add a big soft bounce light. And that's a light you can always set, whether you shoot night or day, wherever you are, wherever you are, there's always a place behind the camera somewhere where you can create some ambience. So you're never lost. 